So you have a family, you want to go camping, you want a big super slide, but you have a restrictive tow capacity, or you just simply don't want one of these big 40 foot monster RVs that exist out there. That's where this one comes in. This is the 2670 Passport, only weighs 5130, available here at our um, RV Superstore in uh, beautiful Coldwater, Michigan. Small town, big dealership, small prices, that kind of, you know, rhetoric. Um, the uh, success rate of these passports is fantastic, and I don't just mean from the sales perspective. I mean, they're in their class, they're the number one seller. Um, but the, what I mean by that is the way they stay in your driveway and they don't come back to ours that's so amazing. Now, this is part of the reason why you see that you've just got an all aluminum skeletal structure everywhere. The roof, the walls, the floor, behind the nose, everything is all aluminum framed. Um, easy to see here with their extra wide baggage compartment and that's something where this does differentiate itself from a lot of things is that it actually does have a nice big place where you can put large cargo in there uh, like nice folding chairs you're not relegated to just bag chairs and whatnot um, the uh, Passport has been Keystone's best-selling lightweight for a number of years and they just keep getting better um, I think another chunk of the reliability comes from the chassis. This doesn't use a traditional I-beam chassis, which there's nothing wrong with that. This is just better. This is an NXG aircraft style chassis. It's made with HSLA steel, high strength, low, uh, low alloy. There we go. It's early in my, I'm, I'm still a little tongue tied, pardon me. Um, in English, it's like, a, like I said, aircraft style. It's, it's a Z chassis, not an I-beam. It's lighter, yet stronger, not cheaper. It's a great, great product though. But hey, you want a good house? You build it on a good foundation, right? That's the whole concept here, and it, obviously the it's proving uh, accurate. Now, we've got uh, a standard, that's what's cool is they standardize this. You don't have to pay extra for an enclosed underbelly with forced air heating. That's a very cool thing. Um, the cable slide systems they use, a lot of people I've, I've had some people say, oh, I saw those cable slides and that's just got to be junk. You would be shocked to learn that it's actually the most expensive slide system uh, out there. It's also by far and away the very lightest in weight and they've been fantastic. Call our service department and ask their opinion and they're going to tell you those things are great. They like them because they really don't have to work on them. Uh, you know, we do have a black tank flush system. We do have an outside shower. We have all the stuff that matters like an 18 gallon per hour water heater and a just absolutely enormous power awning on this thing. It's got to be between 18 to 20 feet. You see how it goes from the uh, covers the entry door clear back to still cover the outside little bar and grill station back here. And that is awesome. It also has a full length LED light strip and it's an easy pitch adjust awning. What that means is when the awning rolls out it's going to be angled down and kind of flat. Well, you can angle it like this. Now, what's cool, and it only takes two fingers to pull down so that you can go eh, like that with the awning. Now, if you forget that it's down, it doesn't matter. These awning arms won't break if you roll them in when they're crooked like this. They will just sort of sort themselves back out and roll in flat. It's fantastic how easy it is. Now, they use a low profile outside kitchen here because this does not uh, steal from your bunk space inside. That's the best thing about passports is that they are focused first on function that was tricky to get out this early in the morning but the point is that they have to i mean they it looks great don't get me wrong they've done a nice job of dressing this up but it has to work first that's why this low pro kitchen comes out and it actually gives you easier access to countertop space than a lot of other outside kitchen setups and you still have dad's medicine cabinet to keep some bottles of water out here or maybe the uh, <clears throat> barley pop if you will um Wide stance stability axles is probably another reason that we just simply don't seem to see passports in our service center with high frequency. Uh, this really helps ease the, the, the bucking and chucking of the trailer. It also helps ease a lot of the wiggle so that this thing tracks better behind your vehicle and I just don't think it stresses the chassis. Because now if, think, think of the stress, if, if the tires get shocked and they don't absorb it, that impact has to get absorbed into the wall, into the roof, into the windows, the fasteners, everything. If you can dampen the amount of heavy shock that's going on, you're gonna dampen the amount of stress on the coach. It's just common logic. It's just really intelligent how they put these together. The speakers are nice too in that they're surface mounted so that uh, they don't have to drill a big four inch hole in their beautiful laminated sidewall here. Uh, that's that's a uh, just a handy thing. Also detail stuff, like the door is strutted so that it cannot swing open and smash your power awning because that's going to be a bad day at the office, kids. Nobody wants to have to deal with that. Okay, so I had to break one of my own cardinal rules and I, it's just 
out of pure necessity. It is currently raining cats and dogs. I mean, cheese and rice, look at it out there. It is just uh, absolutely coming down. I I saw this thing come in, though, and this, this 2670 Passport has just been absolutely on fire. So many people have been enjoying this one that we've had trouble keeping it in stock. And uh, I, I want to make sure I came out here and got uh, the updated footage. Everything you've seen previously is actually... Um, footage that came from last year but it was a, a, a late season model that's been updated and it reflects it's 100% accurate so far they made a couple interior changes though that I wanted to point out and I said you know uh, I hate to do this but I'm gonna splice two chunks of footage together so that the folks get updated accurate information um, so again at any point if you like what you see you want to learn more visit the link in the video description it'll uh, show you the Halid RV website and you can see what 2670 passports we have in stock how they're equipped whether it's even just different interior of course and of course what we're asking and remember our price has no hidden garbage on top of it everything this trailer needs to function properly is included in our price for full details either visit halidrv.com or call one of our sales team god forbid we speak to a living breathing human being so what is it that's making this thing just just tick for so many people right now and i think it's the sweet spot combination of weight reliability and space you know the this floor plan is just on point so we've got the full-on trifold high to bed sleeper sofa here that can hold up uh fold out to sleep you know a couple people i mean you can comfortably sleep two adults there and when the full like seven foot uh u dinette folds down into a bed that can also sleep a couple people so you've got comfortable sleeping for two four six eight and then ten in the master bed in this little thing but every single day you can easily sleep four to six people without ever getting cute with sleeping space. If you want to get real cozy, then you can easily sleep up to ten in here. Comfortably is the thing. Now you're going to be close, but you're camping, you know? So this has become a huge family camper with a for vehicles with a small tow capacity. Now, these two giant windows here, they're sure not hurting things because that lets in a floodlight. And if you notice, they're both full slider windows to get maximum airflow in here. Um... We've got our all-LED lighting package, central air, central heat. All your camping necessities are done. That's what I like about Passport, and really Keystone as a whole. It's it's the thing that has made us really fall in love with them here at Halid RV, other than the fact that they don't seem to be coming back for service, despite the fact that Passport's the number one uh, North American ultralight on the market. So they have tons of volume, but their quality control is still on point. They also listen, every year I see them listen to, to customer feedback and get a little bit better. For instance, the uh, this got updated from just a jackknife sofa to a trifold. Um, they added the, uh, the compartment doors on the edge of the dinette here so you can get to the storage below. That is awesome, so you don't have to tear apart the whole dinette to get to it. They've done a couple little things like update some light fixtures too. And one other thing that really stuck out at me as compared to previous models is they moved the control panel. I looked up front and I went, uh-oh, where'd they put the slide out and the awning switches? I was confused for a minute because they used to be right here. The only hiccup with that is it's where the grandkids or the kids or somebody could reach them and mess with them. Well, they moved them up here where many would argue they should be, where customer feedback was saying, get the switches up here. This way the grandkids can't mess with my slide outs, my awning, my water heater. You know, go, man, if you're dry camping and grandkid flips on the water heater like I did to my grandparents and their old, uh, I don't know, Sunnybrook or Coachman or something, now it's up here where they can't reach it instead of down low where they can. They didn't re I mean, they just didn't reinvent the wheel. They just tightened it up, made it a little bit better. I'm, I've been so sweet on passports the last couple years here. These guys absolutely understand what matters and what doesn't. And this trailer does everything that matters and nothing that doesn't. And, and because they're so streamlined and standardized, and basically every passport's built the same way every single time, uh, with very few exceptions, um, there's such a good quality control that goes through their factory. I, we just don't see passports come back with service work. Um, you know, we've got a, uh, a big skylight and power vent fan around that um, shielded, surrounded uh, um, bathroom in the back here, or shower rather. Foot flush stool. Again, everything that matters, it's all here. It's all taken care of. Uh, 300 pound uh, sleeping space rated upper bunks. And we've got, of course, the very popular double double bunk. But again, it's the devil's in the details. That's why I like the passports at Halitz, because they do these extra little things. First of all, they have windows that open for ventilation in the bunks. Not every place does that. Not every trailer does that, rather. Now, we also have the little set of power outlets back here so that 
the kids can have their little devices on a rainy day like today. If you wake up and you look outside and it's supposed to be sun and you go, Kraft Mac and Cheese, look at this thing. You know, big deal. It doesn't matter that it's raining outside. We, we've got kid entertainment. Now, they also added a second window on this lower bunk. That doubles as the fire escape right back here. Also, I hope you never, ever, ever have to deal with that. Oh my gosh, trust me on that. Anyway, um, but a second window. Windows and lights are very expensive in the camping business. And they've done a good job of that. And they've even included like an extra vent here in the living room for extra airflow and extra light. It, can, it kind of functions as a skylight, but it can exhaust heat, which is really nice if you're cooking up a storm over here, by the way, so that all that hot air, it travels up and then just kind of glides its way out the ceiling vent. Um, down here, you've got the treasure chest storage. Here, mateys, here be treasure. And this is where the kids can keep their treasures, if you will. Um, another thing this model does really well, and I think it's probably one of the most influential reasons the 2670 Passport has punched through to be such a popular model. Despite our ridiculous number of different brands that we offer here, this one has proven popular, and I think it's because of this big chunk of storage right here. This is some sweet real estate, my friends. So, obviously, you see two hanging bars, but you see shelves. Well, that's because these can be adjusted. If you really wanted to, you could take out just that top shelf, have two good full hanging storage compartments, and still have pantry shelf space here. And then they have this nice little open pocket, and the kids are going to commandeer that. I promise that. That's where they're going to keep a bunch of their stuff. And frankly, it'll work just fine. So central air in the ceiling, central heat in the floors. And they could have gone cheaper. They could have gone with the cheap plastic vents, but instead they go with the nicer metal ones. Because you might be able to... I mean, these are in traffic areas. You're, you're probably going to step on these at some point. So they put nicer things down that aren't going to bust and break if that does come to pass. Again, Passport is a very quality-focused brand. And people often confuse features with quality. Let's talk about that. What is quality? You could, I mean, people tend to look at trailers that have a lot of fancy pants features like raised panel cabinet doors and say, oh, this is obviously a high quality trailer. Well, I can do something in this business very easily we call putting lipstick on a pig. And uh, for some reason, whenever I say it, I put a little bit of drawl to it. I haven't figured out why, but anyway. Um, you can put lipstick on a pig. I can dress up. You know, you can polish a turd. <laughs> you can. This is not that case. Quality to me means a trailer that does not come back to my service center, that doesn't come back in this driveway pointing the wrong direction. I want it pointing out the driveway, not in. It doesn't do either of us any good back here at my dealership. Now, we have a full parts and service center at Halet RV. We service what we sell and everything else, too. But you know what we don't ever seem to have to service? A lot of passports. Keystone overall, but a lot of passports. They have really been doing a knockout job. Um, so back to the, the task at hand. You know, why this one? Well, good. Aren't you, you... You want an RV because RV stands for recreational vehicle. You want to go out and have fun. You don't want to bring it back to my dealership. That's not fun. This trailer, more than many others, accomplishes that. Now, you've also got some pretty good kitchen storage. And I think that the um, L-shaped peninsula instead of that 45 degree kick out like a lot of brands they're they're afraid to go full on kitchen like this it's like they're afraid to do it password said forget it we know counter space and cabinet space are two super critical things so they gave you more of it here now there are appliance outlets underneath the cabinets here and they have to do that because basically you don't want to try to have to mess with wiring in a laminated wall that's why you don't see a lot of ultralights have wall mounted kitchen sockets, whereas conventionally built uh, trailers do have that. Um, big high-rise faucet, so you can actually clean stuff in there. A lot of people still take passports out for dry camping. That is why they have one big sink and one little smaller section on the side. Because when you're dry camping, you don't want to use all the water in your tank, so you want to sip the tank, not gulp it. That's why you have a smaller one over here. These also double very good as cutting boards. <clears throat> over here, this is pretty cool. I like how they do this. They have drawers and doors. So you still have full extension drawers here. You still got plenty of storage, and it gives you pure access to this entire chunk of uh, under counter storage. And if you, you're sitting here thinking, "Yeah, but what if something's way over there, dude? I can't send my kids crawling in to get that." Well, guess what? The good people at Passport—they've got you covered. That's why you have all this easy access to it over here. There's just not an ounce of space wasted because when it comes to storage, every ounce counts. 
Entertainment. Years and years ago, they built campers and nobody cared about the entertainment. Now, it's become almost a focal point. A lot of people are not in love with this style of entertainment center. It's called a Center Island Entertainment. One of the reasons they don't like it is because if I'm sitting over here on this big plush hide-to-bed sofa that comes in the passports at Haylitz, you kind of don't get a clear shot at the screen. It's sort of a neck crank thing, and nobody likes that. Well, once again, the good folks at Passport, they do everything that matters. Now, we've got one of the best seats in the house. Check that out. There's just no bad way to go here. <coughs> Pardon me. And of course, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player. Now you see that we have doors, not curtains. It's another thing I like about the passports. They do the things that matter. Um, 60 by 80, true queen bed. There are a lot of lightweights out there. But at this size, and especially this price point, I'm not really aware of others that have a full, true 60 by 80 queen bed. A lot of times people say, ooh, I don't like it when the entertainment center is this close to the bed. That's because they're used to a short camper queen. Passports don't have that problem. They've got the full 80 inch queen bed. And down here on the bed bases, they have power outlets, so if you wanna run uh, CPAP machines or alarm clocks, they leave you a nice little shelf to be able to accomplish that. And they do have um, mirrored wardrobes, as you can see, so that you get more light reflected up here in the bedroom. You get a nice bright bedroom. Like, you, you see all the light re reflecting off that mirror right there against that wall. Perfect example. It helps brighten it up in here. The, um, the bullet nose design of the trailer also kind of gives you just the way that you tend to lay down. It gives you a little more head space here, so you're not going to bonk your head on that. Unless you're super duper tall, and then you're probably used to bonking your head on stuff. But notice that we have cabinets, not a shelf. It's the extra things that Passport's doing that matters. It does everything that matters and nothing that doesn't, and they just don't tend to come back for service. And that's why I've become just really partial to them. They're doing a great job. They're doing they're doing everything you could you could ever want. You know this this does everything. It, if your kids are growing up, you know you're going to have them in the house for five plus years. Get something like this 2670 Passport. Give us a call here at Haylet RV. The link in the video description to see if we have it in stock and what we're asking. And then, you know, use this thing for a number of years and you could have this thing for a long time. It'll be a, a, a problem-free, fun little camping adventure for the family. And then as the kids grow up, swap her out to get the couples coach that you've always dreamed of. This thing's going to get you through. It's made for that. It will get the job done. So, with that, again, I invite you to give us a call here at Haylet RV, 800-256-5196. Um, and links in the video description to check price and availability. And remember, we only do everything at Haywood RV. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, accessories, financing, truck and trailer, package deals, delivery, <gasps> and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Oh, and uh, stay dry.